what's going on guys, Carl here from themorrismethod.com, welcome back to my channel. It has been an age since I last jumped on here and with lockdown opening, restrictions getting a little bit more lenient, I've been super busy. But I'm back now with a vengeance and today we are kicking off with the gym stick, so let's jump into it. So we've got the gym stick to put this on, we're going to hinge over, lock it into our hips and then put our foot straps in, one and the other. We're going to go straight over our head. We're starting with a lunge. Let's go with that right leg and back. Keeping the arms nice and tight, core strong, and keep going. Now from here, as my right leg comes out, the bar is going to want to twist and rotate that same way. So we're going to make sure that we're using our arms and rear delts to really keep that bar nice and straight. Keep it going. We've got a few more reps to do. We've got 30 seconds of each exercise and give you a little bit of rest in between. Nice work. Have a little pause now. We're going to go into bicep curls. So from here, to start from here, the slack is too much. So we've got to wind it down a little bit. Create a little bit more tension. Thumbs up. And let's just go straight up. Keep the core nice and engaged. Breathing out. Squeeze those biceps. Slight bend in your knees, back straight and elbows tucked into your waist. You want to make sure your elbows don't move, not swinging up, keep them locked in, just pivoting from that elbow and only your hands move. Keep it going guys, last few reps. Good. Okay, wind that back out and we're going straight back into our overhead lunges with the opposite leg. Okay, all the way out, nice and slack. Push up, and we're going straight into that left leg. Let's go. So again, same concept. Now the band, wants to, the bar wants to swing left as I'm stepping forward. So I've got to use my rear delts on my left arm to really keep that bar nice and straight. Try from this angle. So again, it wants to twist. Me stepping forward, keep it nice and straight. Keep the arm back, and we'll keep going. Nice, okay, dropping down. Again, we're winding it back up. We're going to bent over row, so a little bit more tightness now. Wind down the slack. Pivoting from your hips, back to this straight. Get that resistance tight. And squeeze all the way up. From here, I want to retract the shoulder blades all the way up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Get your hair out your eyes. Keep the form, make sure the back stays dead straight and about 45 degrees. If you start to feel arched, just draw those shoulders back and side again. Keep the core engaged at all times. Elbows up. Nice, and have a little pause. Okay, now we're going into squat and press. So we're starting into our chest, just underneath your chin. Squat all the way down, push straight up as we go. And let's do it. Nice deep squat and push. Back to all the way up and keep going. And again, you want to make sure that the back stays straight with these squats. Core stays engaged with the overhead press. Some people with a weak core might feel a tendency to arch their lower back as we're going into that overhead press. So really engage your abs. Well done. Okay, and the last one of the circuit, we're going into tricep extension. So we're going above our head again. We're dropping down behind our head and straight back up. Drop behind and push. Nice, keep it going. Again, you don't want the elbows to move. You don't want to be dropping. Keep the elbows locked in that place and just pivot from those elbows to come all the way up. Just focusing on the triceps. Keep it going, last few. Control. Good work, and pause. Okay, we're gonna do that all over again. If you need a drink, just pause this video, have a quick swig. Otherwise, we're gonna go straight into it. 
Are you ready? Overhead lunges. Let's go. Now we know what the exercises are. Let's pick that speed up a little bit. So don't lose form. Control the movements at all times. Engage in the core. Belly button gets sucked in. Keeping those arms nice and straight. All the way up. Working on mobility as well as strength. Keep it going. Nice. And control. Ooh. And again, we're winding up. We're going into those bicep curls. Wind up. Turn the palms facing forwards. Elbows get locked into our waist. And we're coming straight up. You ready? Let's go. Nice work. Keep it going. Again. Control of the core. You don't want to be arching your back. You don't want to be swinging from your hips. None of this. Engage, just straight up. Nice and tight. Abs controlled. Everything's locked in. And relax all the way down. Wind it out. Back over our heads. Go into those lunges on the opposite leg. Up and push. You ready? Let's go. Again, you want to speed up, but don't lose form. You want to raise the heart rate a little bit. Remember the band and the bar. We're going to want to twist. So lock that back, working into those rear delts. Stay nice and tall and control the form. Keep it up, guys. Let's go. Nice. All the way down, we're winding up. We're going into those bent over rows. Working into our back muscles. Chest up, back straight, abs tight. Let's go. Getting those elbows nice and high. And again, retracting the shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So you want to feel it right in the middle. Think of a pencil between your shoulder blades and try to keep it there. Release, squeeze it in. Keep it going. We've got this, come on. A little bit of wind up if you need more tension. Good. Oh, wind it out. Forearms. Ooh. Okay, we're going into a squat and press. So again, starting under the chin, nice deep squat. And the overhead press where we've got to really watch our backs. Let's go, nice and deep, and we push. Again, if this is too easy, we're all the way wound out. Feel free to give it a little turn and carry on. Or unwind it completely, totally up to you. This is your workout, do what you can, but you want to be pushing yourself to see what you can do. Keep it going, last one. Nice work. Ooh. Okay, we're going back over our head. We're going into those tricep extensions. Ooh, we got this. Keep breathing, guys. Nice and deep, slow breaths. Arms up, close together, straight down, and push. And again, if this is too easy, wind the tension up a little bit. And squeeze all the way out. So you want to be pushing yourself as much as you can to feel your workout. Again, try not to arch your back. If you're in your back arch, keep your core nice and strong. Belly button sucked in. We got this, come on. Last one. Well done. Little rest. Well done, everyone. We're going third and final round. Woo, we've got this. Back up over our heads again. Pause the video if you need a drink. We're going straight into it. Let's go. We got this, come on. Core stays strong, arms force against the rotation of the bar. Halfway of these, come on. We got it, let's do it. Keep breathing. 
Last one. Come on. One more we can fit in. Good. Little fours. Back to our bicep curls, rolling that up. Get the tension we want, palms in. Three, two, one, and let's go. Let's speed things up a little bit. Speed gets the heart rate up, and the heart rate up burns calories. And this is also an aerobic activity. So although we're not doing your normal cardio, going for a run, jog, kind of hit exercises, we're still working aerobically, we're still using oxygen, and we're burning calories. Nice work. Okay, back over our heads. Getting that left lunge. We got it. Woo! Forearms are burning. And let's go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Again, working on that back knee to come down. You don't want your front knee to go further than your front toe. So as soon as that foot plants on the ground, you drop that back knee straight down. Again, arms nice and straight, working into that mobility of the shoulders. Good work. Ooh. Wind it up. Wind that bobbin up. Bent over rows. Put your hair out your eyes, Carl. Control in that core. All the way down and all the way up. You want to think who's stuck? Let's go, come on. Again, elbows up as high as you can. The bar just comes into that waist. Shoulder blades fit together, squeeze all the way in. Back stays straight, 45 degrees. You don't want to be arching, don't want to be arching too much this way. Nice and tight through the spine. Good. Ooh. Shake off those four rounds. We're going to squat and press. Are you ready? Let's do a full wind around now. All the way down, all the way up. Push. As we're going down into those squats, you want to be pushing your knees outwards so they almost touch the band. If they can't touch the band, that's great. So we're going them out. Pushing them out means that you're working your glute lead as well as your glute max by doing the squats. So we want to hit, making sure we're squeezing those glutes at the very top. And relax. Last one. Come on. We're going into those tricep extensions. Forearms are still burning. Okay, you ready? Last three, two, and one. Let's go. How many reps can we get out? Wind this up. Let's go a little bit tougher. Come on. We got it. Core stay strong. No one's back arches. If you're feeling that arch, take a pause. Control your core and go again. Just squeeze it up. Ooh. Come on. Come on. And relax, everybody. Ooh, didn't I say we're back with a vengeance? Damn. That gym stick is giving me a pump like no other. My forearms are burning. If you like this video, drop me a like below and hit the subscribe so you never miss a future video. We're coming in hot throughout summer. Guys, if you want to keep going, feel free to jump back to the beginning of this video and carry on. Or if you want to try something different, have a look at the playlists I've got in the description below or something else you can do. Fit some core into this workout for a great full body. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.